as a female, have you experienced like any challenges or per se, you know, just in general, like when you're first walking into an internship and you're speaking with like operators or other engineers, you know, we already have the challenge of one, you're an intern, two, you're young, but then you have the third component of like being a woman. So how have yeah. you like approached um, the people, the situations on really just building their trust and gaining your respect at the end of the day? Yeah, it can be difficult for sure. I know, like like you said, being young, female, all that, definitely you get that perception from people that they're like, oh, she doesn't really know what she's doing. She's going to need help with everything she you know has on her project list. Like, we're going to have to babysit her. And there's definitely times when, you know, you'll walk out in the refinery and um, they look at you like, you know, like a, you're a unicorn kind of thing. Like, yeah, are what are you doing out here? Yeah. And uh, I think, you know, as you progress through your projects or whatever you may be doing, you just have to be confident in what you're doing and kind of show them like, hey, I, I do belong here. And this is what, you know, my job is and I can do it well and I can do it successfully just the same as you can. And I think when you like go into your job with that kind of confidence that definitely, you know, sets into them that, hey, like, as a female, you can do that job and you can do and work with them on Absolutely. the different things that you'll be doing. So it, it can be a challenge. And I think, you know, we just have to own up to it and step up to the, the challenge, you know, and show them that we do belong in that in that spot. So I think that I, I had a pretty unique experience. So at Exxon, there is actually a lot of women there. Um, I know in the chemical plant last summer, most of the people there were women, which was oh, really, wow. really cool. Yeah. And a lot of, there's a lot of vice presidents of the company and presidents um, that I've heard talk that are women. And so I think that my experience has been very empowering because I get to see women doing these technical jobs that usually have been done by men in the past. Mm -hmm. um, and now they're kind of uh, becoming integrated with the system as more people start, more women start to do engineering. And so um, just being able to interact with them and talk about their experiences, they also had very positive experiences. Um, I think that a lot of people respect the women that are um, in the company and their work. And so I thought that was very cool. One thing that was very challenging for me was work. I don't know if it was because I was a woman, but um, uh, most of the operators are men. And so they just work a very different way um, than people like in the office. Um, but they, I mean, they just have so much knowledge. Like they are just such a good resource for any project. They know everything. Um, and so, but they want everything to be super direct. And so I kind of had to learn how to, interact with them and talk right. with them. But once I got the hang of it, um, they were just such a great resource. I just, there was kind of like a learning curve. Now, female mentors for both of my right. summer internships and they were really great with a lot of experience. And I was talking to my one from last summer and she said, you kind of have three things working against you right now. Cause like you said, you're an intern, you're young and you're a female. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> she said, just kind of taking the first step to getting to talk with the operators and letting them know that you're open to working with them. And you know, maybe having lunch with them instead of eating lunch in your office, eat lunch with them in the field and um, just kind of getting to know them. On yeah, a so really level. like gaining their trust that you're. Yeah, there to help. exactly. Because at the end of the day, you're just both trying to get the project done, you Absolutely. know, on time and safely. But in terms of feeling uncomfortable, nothing really stood out except like just minor things like yeah. after we go out after we go out in the field you know you have your hard hat on hard hat on i would need a few minutes to like fix my ponytail because my yeah. hair is a mess and, <laughs> and just little stuff like that or having to walk farther to the bathroom because the women's bathroom is usually farther away oh yeah or just even yeah. having to go to the bathroom a little bit more in the middle of the day yeah. like, oh you gotta hydrate but you also are like having to the bathroom yeah Definitely. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm assuming that on a lot of these rigs, it's a lot more male dominated than female yes. dominating. So how do you feel about that? As well as, you know, what do you think you're going to be experiencing as being like kind of one of the younger and only females on the platform? Yes. And you're completely right. Um, there's a high, high chance that I could be one or two of the only females on the rig, as well as one or two of the only 
um, engineers in my part of the, I guess, field. And so I got to experience this a little bit while working in North Dakota because I was going on to those rigs um, and the crews were entirely men. And so it was an experience that I learned so much in my time up there. Um, and I, I loved it. But I also realized, and through different camps that I've been to, um, I've been to an oil and gas production camp, an offshore production camp, where we were just doing simulations and kind of learning. And so I realized that this field is very male dominated. And I know that, and I was kind of thinking about this when you kind of um, gave me some questions beforehand of what I think that I've learned and kind of going into this next stage of my life as a full-time career is learning as maybe one of the few females is to learn how to carry confidence with also great humility and knowing with that confidence that you deserve to be there um, because of your work, ex work experience in the past as well as your educational experience. You've worked hard to be where you are so you can walk with confidence. But as well, it goes along with that is great humility because you are there to learn and not just early in your career, but throughout your entire career, you need to carry humility, especially going into operational roles when you're meeting with men who have worked on those rigs for their entire lives or generations of their family have worked on rigs and they know they're very, um, they know a lot in their field. They, they do this every single day. And so when you have to go out there and start to learn from them, you need to have respect for them as well as humility um, throughout your entire time, but also carry confidence as being an only woman that you can do what a man can do. And even though your strengths might be different than a man's strengths in specific areas, it doesn't make them any weaker or any less. I myself know what it's like to be one of the only women working in a process unit. I worked at chemical plants where I was the only girl or even one of the only interns within an area and I was collaborating with people who had been there for nearly 60 years and knew the processes better than I knew the back of my hand. I think along with many women who have experienced this as well as listening to the journeys of some of these girls, we can all agree that when going into these circumstances it can be a little bit difficult but if anything, it's a learning experience that helps you grow in each and every way. Like Tanil said, it's important to be confident. We deserve to be there. We've worked hard, we're smart, and we're strong women who deserve to be there and show the world what we can do. But it's also important that we are humble and respectful to everyone around us. There are going to be times where it's challenging because at times it feels like as a girl, you have to work a little harder to be taken seriously. But at the end of the day, it's all about what we know and how we portray it, how we portray ourselves by the way we speak, the way we act, and the way we represent ourselves. But I'm really glad that you guys got to hear a little bit about the roles and experiences that these women have faced and that this encourages some of you who are out there to really pursue this and know that there's confidence and strength in pursuing a male-dominated role. And hopefully one day those tables are turned.